Hello friends, I am Dr. Manas Kalra. I am a senior consultant pediatric hematology, oncology and stem cell transplant at Sir Gangaram Hospital. I look after children with blood diseases and with cancers. Hodgkin lymphoma is one of the cancers in children which is highly curable. What is Hodgkin lymphoma? We all have multiple lymph nodes, glands present in our body, whether they are in the neck, whether they are in axilla, in our groin, in our abdomen, inside our chest. These lymph nodes are all connected through a lymphatic system from which a liquid flows lymph. So these lymph nodes are connected to each other and they grow a thin blood and grow a thin blood and grow a thin blood and grow a thin blood which we call lymph. They work in a way and help to give some form of immunity to our body, the lymph nodes. Now, if any particular lymph node, the cells become bad and they keep dividing and that division does not stop then that disease is called lymphoma. So suppose you have a neck node and in this neck node your cell starts to grow and these cells are not like how normal cells look and they keep on abnormally proliferating then it develops into a lymphoma. Lymphoma are of two types. One is Hodgkin lymphoma, one is a non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Hodgkin was a great scientist and he described this cancer called Hodgkin lymphoma. Now in children these Hodgkin lymphomas present mainly with symptoms of fever or lymph nodes nodes painless enlargement of lymphadenopathy that means lymph node आपकी जो गांठे हैं वो धीरे-धीरे बढ़ती जाएंगी बड़ी हो जाएंगी और वो गांठ गले में पड़ी रहेगी या कहीं बॉडी के किसी और पार्ट में ग्रो होके पड़ी रहेगी many many times these uh, lymph nodes are just neglected by parents family members doctors and they think that oh this is nothing this is just a uh, children can have lymph nodes so they are kind of neglected but they can be cancerous so we examine these lymph nodes if they are significant in size we need to evaluate them these children can also present with weight loss fever or night sweats and there are other myriad of symptoms and i won't go into details of that but these are the common symptoms with which children with hodgkin lymphoma can present now how do you confirm that so whenever you see a significant lymph node or a swelling in a child's body we need to biopsy these lymph nodes parents are very scared they feel oh biopsy karne se chhedne se bimari phail jati hai so this is a myth that's not true uh, a good biopsy actually helps you to make the correct diagnosis. एक बार आपका diagnosis बन गया, तो आप उसपे special markers लगाते हो, IHC marker to confirm that it is a type of a cancer. And once it confirms that yes, it is Hodgkin lymphoma, then we stage the disease. Often we use a PET scan or a, along with a bone marrow to stage these cancers. So a PET scan helps to tell you that where all this disease is present in the body, whether it is only in the neck, whether it is in the chest, whether whether it is in the abdomen or whether it is spread across the body. So then we stage the cancer 1, 2, 3 or 4 and we look at the symptoms and classify it A or B and then we look at whether the lymph node size is very bulky or not and based on that we say whether it is a bulky disease or a non-bulky disease. Once we have diagnosed the condition, once we have staged the condition, then we treat these patients with chemotherapy. People are very scared of chemotherapy. They think it is very very painful and you know it has got a lot of side effects. But we have to remember why are we giving this chemotherapy? We are not just giving chemotherapy to anybody. It is being given to a patient who is suffering from a big disease. You actually need it because you want to get rid of this cancer and you want to live a normal life. And most of the children with Hodgkin lymphoma live a very good normal life after treatment. The treatment modality mainly is chemotherapy. We do a response assessment. We give say two, three cycles of chemotherapy. Do a PET scan and see whether the child is responding nicely or not. And if he is is responding nicely we continue further cycles of chemotherapy some children also need radiation therapy for the treatment of Hodgkin lymphoma there is not much role of surgery surgery role is mainly to actually do the biopsy and then take out the lymph node and then help us to make the diagnosis unfortunately few patients of Hodgkin lymphoma will not respond or they may relapse relapse means the cancer comes back not respond means you are giving best treatment but the disease is not going away so if you have a non-responding disease or if you have a relapsing disease then you know we know that okay this patient is a little tough has a tough disease in those cases we either give more aggressive chemotherapy and now we have the new kid on the block which is immunotherapy we use immuno uh, immunotherapy drugs many new drugs have come which actually kill the cancer remove the cancer by different mechanism from chemotherapy again in such patients we may need radiation and we may also need to do 
do a autologous bone marrow transplant. Despite all these scary terms, I would say that Hodgkin lymphoma is highly curable. Most children are cured. They live a very good life. We keep them in surveillance for five years for the disease coming back. And after that, we look at them from the point of view of late effects. So, um, uh, you know, any parent who is listening to this video or any physician, pediatrician, any doctor uh, who wants to know about Hodgkin lymphoma, we are very happy to guide you and to tell you about this disease. Uh, but just remember that, that, you know, childhood cancer is curable. Most children will be okay. Uh, the battle is not easy, um, uh, but we all can fight it together and cure most of the children with cancer. Thank you.